Which have that was quick. Let's talk about it. I know y'all want to get to the tea, and baby, we will. But for those of y'all that's been living under a rock, baby, my name is Scott Santana. I've only been on YouTube since I was 2016. Started off going viral, telling stories about my crazy life. A couple of years later, I started doing ratchet recipes, went viral on TikTok. Then I opened up a channel, Aligning Souls, where I was, you know, using my spiritual and psychic gifts to help the girls and whip them back into alignment. In other words, baby, she's gifted. And see, now I'm here to share all of those gifts on one channel. So I mean, whether it's a deep dive, a commentary video, cooking, music, Reading Harvest Toast. Baby, if I want to upload a video of me picking my nose and breathing for 60 minutes, I'm into it. My house, my rules. I mean, I just ask that y'all follow me over on Twitter so I can stop talking to myself. And before you go and try to seek help and seek therapy, baby, seek me. Go to my website and book yourself a personal reading if you need one. Now, feel free to sound off in the comments, but be respectful and act like you got that act right. Now, this channel is for critical thinkers. We may not always agree. You may not always even like me. But one thing's for sure, your life will be changed after experiencing me. So subscribe. Now, enough of me rambling, child. I think we made it past the part that was needed to get this video on. Let's get into it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. What's Oh, excuse me. Can you get off screen? Thank you. What is going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi. And we are back for another Baddies Caribbean update, chow. I didn't know that I was going to be making this update so soon. I didn't know I was going to be making this update so soon because it was literally just yesterday when I posted this. Oh, not that video. Chow, I ain't even got the screenshot up. Hold up, 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 hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It was literally just yesterday when I posted this video right here. If you didn't see this video, go ahead and check it out. But in terms of, wait, was this on my phone? Chow. Anyways, um, it was just yesterday when I posted this video right here. And all of a sudden, chow, we making this video right here because it looks like Meatball is out of jail so y'all already know i had to come back with y'all um get the update and we got to talk about it but before we do that let me say something and i'm gonna make it very brief because i said when i started this channel i am not in the business of explaining myself baby i'm 30 that's it okay i am grown okay grown and sexy i am 30 okay for the most part y'all be chill you know, y'all fuck with me, okay? And y'all y'all really get, y'all understand how the channel goes, okay? I've always been long-winded, baby. That's why I have a YouTube channel. And I don't know why I have to, like, literally say it, but, um, y'all, my intro be long for a reason because I curse so much. And if you curse so early on into the video, you don't get paid. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't work for free. Okay. And aside from that, I don't care if I take 20, 30, 40 hours to get to the point. If you don't want to watch, you can click off. It's literally that simple. So, you know, I usually let people do what they want to do down in the comments, as long as you're not being disrespectful to me, you know, which might happen like 2% of the time, you know, usually y'all keep it cute. Okay. But when you try to get cute and creative and, and come for me or disrespect me, or you start coming out your neck, that's when I just block, okay? That's when I just block, okay? Because y'all are here to watch my video, okay? I'm not here to watch you. You're here to watch me, okay? Let's get into the video. These bitches is washed. Shy in the soap and these rags ain't involved. Been saying shit since I didn't mama for rocks. They hate to see that a bitch fall on your top. Stop. Keep watching my social media. Changing my Wikipedia. These trending to the top and tedious. I will stop from video.
Okay. Also, too, let me just say this real quick because I meant to say this as well before. <sighs> Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj, when people go to their shows, they know what to get. You don't expect to see Mariah doing eight counts like she Beyonce. You don't expect Nicki Minaj to be rolling around the stage like she Lauren and Gibson. Like, you go there to see what they do. You know that with Mariah Carey, it's going to be the dramatics. She's going to be walking around with the fan and doing the diva antics, you know? And you know that Nikki, she's going to be rapping the lyrics with her chest. But you go there for that experience. It's the same thing over here, baby. It's chaotic. I've always been chaotic. My videos are long, long-winded, and it's chaotic. I'm not going to have my ish together because that's part of the fun for me to sit and do it with y'all. I'm not a researcher. I am a commentator. Okay? So I like to do this stuff in real time so y'all can get my real reaction. Okay? If you don't like it, there's plenty of other people out there. And that'll be the last time that I speak on it because, again, like I said, I'm 30. I'm 30. I'm not 21 no more. I'm 30. This is my channel. Okay, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, like I said, yeah, so yesterday I did that, I did that video right here where I talked about how meatball was in jail and I gave my opinion on it. And you know, for the most part, everybody you know was agreeing and whatnot. You know, there was like one or two knuckleheads that got in the comments and tried to do the whole protect black women thing. And I say that a lot, and I'm gonna explain to you what I mean by that, like I always do, but just in case you're new. When I said yesterday, I I did not like the fact that Meatball went across the country to film this show. You risk your freedom for fame. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. So there's no amount of times that people are going to get in my comments and talk about how I shouldn't be laughing at a black woman or laughing at a young woman going to jail. Like, don't do that. <laughs> that's what I mean when I say we're not going to do that protect black women issue over here. Like, that's what I mean. I'm referring to cases like that. Like when you are specifically signing up to be a participant in BS, you do not get to then selfishly use serious movements, serious social justice movements for your pers personal gain and to serve your personal agenda. It doesn't work like that. Meatball knew exactly what she was doing by going live I'm not one of those people that be like, oh, they're young, they're young, they're young, they'll learn. No, because at what point do we start teaching the younger people? You'll learn when that ass is sitting in jail. And that's what happened. And now guess what? She went back because she still didn't learn because after she got arrested a year ago, now all of a sudden fame is worth it that much that you're risking your freedom. Okay, well, you still haven't learned your lesson. So guess what? Clink, clink. And if I laugh, I laugh. Don't come trying to attack me because I, I'm saying she's dumb. Don't come trying to put it all on black women and the fact that she's young. and It has nothing to do with that. This is a dummy that made a dumb mistake. It's literally that, that simple. I hate when people do stuff like that. And I'm going to need more people to start getting offended by stuff like that. Because as much as we go through as a culture and just people, period, the way that people will literally manipulate social justice campaigns for their selfish gains, that will always be something that pisses me off. I don't care how anybody feels about that. I will always get pissed off at that. Like y'all say all the time, oh, we the most disrespected. Our voices are never heard. Da, 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 da. Okay, so why are we playing around with them? Why are we playing around with them? If we so disrespected, our voice is not heard and we already got to go through this as black people, then I'm going to need y'all in the hood to start cleaning shit up. Stop with the selling of the drugs. Stop, you know, doing the dumb shit that's going to get you locked up. Like, stop thinking you above the law. Because then, like, come on now. I can't always be there to, to go down to Peach Street and be on the front lines marching. Not for some F shit. Not for somebody that's specifically signing up to be a part of the BS, like, but I'm not going to harp on it. Hopefully she learned her, well, I can't even, I don't even know if she learned her lesson because this whole thing with Meatball started because of something that happened six months ago, but she just went to jail because of something that happened six weeks ago. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, as much as I want to be like, well, hopefully she learned the lesson and did the, I don't know, because you should have learned the lesson when you got arrested six months ago. But then six weeks ago, you decided to risk your freedom by going on the Zeus show instead of telling them, hey, 
I got a court case that's coming up. How about y'all just like pencil me in for, for season six? Is that so hard? Like, come on now. Come on now. Especially when she's not even on the list as a regular girl. She's on the list as a quote unquote celebrity, which I, they, they clearly use him very loosely because she's not a celebrity. And that's no shade at all. But I mean, she's not a celebrity. So the fact that she's not only being called a celebrity, but she's also included on the show as that and has that Tommy look, that Ario Day look like, you would think, you would think that there would be more leverage there for her to be like, Yo, I need to take care of business and take care of home first. And then I got next season. You're not going to sit and tell me that they invited this girl to be the quote unquote celebrity guest of the season. And she just, they gave her a deal. She just couldn't refuse or they would not allow her to back out. And no, this young girl made a dumb mistake. Oh, well, she went to jail. It is what it is. Okay, so let's move on from that because apparently she got released from jail. Okay, um, and I do understand that we all make mistakes and things like that. But the problem that I have with today's culture and today's generation is that everybody wants an excuse. There's no actual work being done. Everything is an excuse. Oh, they're young. They're this. They're that. They're da -da 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 -da. fill in the trauma response. Fill in the demographic. Fill in the Chow, what, what's the word that they use? The oppressed group, like, but there's no actual work being done. And then especially when it comes to younger people, instead of older people teaching them, they lazy ass is just like, oh, well, they're young. They'll learn. No, because some things is a life and death situation or some things it's like you should not want them to have to learn on their own because this is why generational trauma exists in the first place. Like, you know how many times I see like younger girls getting cheated on or like the things that they go through in these relationships and the older people be like, oh, well, they're going to learn it. No, it's your job to teach them. What the fuck is the point of you being here and being that old at that big ass age if you're not going to pass down wisdom to them like that pisses me off it pisses me off and one day i'm going to share my natal chart with y'all just so y'all can like really really better understand you know who i am and how i think and you know this is why i love those of you who um let me give you <laughs> let me give you y'all flowers for a second <laughs> hold up let me put me back on screen Okay, sorry to the new people that's not used to shit like this, but we do what we want over here. Okay, we spent the first five minutes cussing people out. Now let me give you, let me give y'all hoes y'all flowers. It would be a lot more sentimental if I was on camera, but child, y'all y'all do. I love those of y'all that have been rocking with me and that you know are getting to know me and understand. You know what I mean? Because there are people that casually watch, and then there are people that's like, oh, I get you. You know what I mean? Like everybody can say, oh, I'm a fan. But then it's like, it's it hits different when it's like, no, 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 no. Like, bitch, I stand you. Like, I love you. I get you. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, we all might like a Taylor Swift song, but we not a Swifty. We might like a Beyonce song, but we not Beehive. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I respect everybody. You know, casual fan or not, I respect everybody. But I definitely have a different type of respect for the people that like, are like bandit gang. You know what I mean? Like, are like B Hop, are like Swifty when it comes to me. Okay. Cause I'm a special type bitch. Okay. But let's get back into her. Um, yeah. I just, I just wish for more people to pass down wisdom. And I'm glad that we did that video yesterday because now that I think about it, as I'm sitting here talking about wisdom, no wonder Deja is sitting here making choices like this. And I hate to get personal, but I mean, when your mother is online, with an OnlyFans account just like you, charging $40 just like you. <laughs> like, what, what, what y'all want me to say? What y'all want me to say? Her mother going online, oh, I miss Deja. I miss my firstborn. I miss my daughter. Uh, da, da, da. Life is so unfair. Where's my child? I hate when, you know, bad things like this happen out of the blue. Baby, this is this is an example of you that's walking around. What 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 what's not clicking? 
What failed? What's going on? Instead of you being on OnlyFans trying to, you know, sell an ass cheek or a nipple for $40 per person, mind you. Okay, and she listen, she probably got the OnlyFans set up to where it's a paid, not only paid subscription, but paid per post. Because you know that's the scam that they get you in. Okay. It, it, especially if it's like free 99 or if it's like oh, like under like $10, then they get you in on the oh, you got to pay per video. Girl, I'm not paying for the same shit I can see on Twitter. Girl, and then on Twitter, they got the nerd to only have 30 seconds of listen. We not a sex channel no more. Never mind. Nah. nah. <laughs> but y'all understand what I'm saying. It's like, I'm supposed to feel bad for a Deja, for a meatball that went to jail. Oh, don't laugh at her because this is a black woman going to jail. Yeah. And this is also a black woman with a black mama who's instead of sitting here trying to raise her right and teach her right and show her to, how to do the right things. Her mother out here acting like she her age and on OnlyFans too. Selling her ass. So I see the examples that's in your life. Now, mind you, I don't know this girl from a can of paint. I don't know this girl from a can of paint, okay? Because there are some people who, you know, y'all listen to these videos and you be like, oh, you kind of judging. Da, 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 da. Listen, I'm judging what's out there. I'm a commentator. I'm judging what's out there. I honestly think me and Meebo would be like the best of friends. And I think she's pretty as hell. But this is gossip. You put your business out there. And it's my business to talk about your business because you put it out there. You're an icon. This is the Zeus blog. You're a part of the show. So just like everybody else, I got to talk about it. And again, her mother having OnlyFans and being out here doing what she's doing online instead of helping her child, it does speak volumes. I'm just saying. But again, we're not going to harp on that. Hopefully she learned her lesson because she's clearly out of jail now. And so we're going to go ahead and listen to this little piece of Instagram live. No, bro. I was not trying to keep watching that because I wasn't staying for long. <clears throat> they even tried to change my jumpsuits. I said, man, listen, I'm rocking the same jumpsuit I came upstairs with. Ain't no new jumpsuit. Cool. I can't come on. Let me say this too. <clears throat> Because I might forget. Y'all know my ADHD. Gemini fifth house. Um, if she does not annoy me, if she doesn't annoy me, then she might be my, she might be one of my favorites this season. If she doesn't annoy me. And I say that because it's usually one or two. It's either you, you really annoy me, I really like you, or I'm just indifferent. And so I'm praying that she doesn't really annoy me because like I've said several times, every time I speak about her, when it comes to comedian type of people, that's just like either naturally funny or not even naturally funny, but those that like build a living off of them being funny. Sometimes it's just like, everything is like comedy. If you know what I'm saying, it's like, Like, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. It's like, it's like always trying to be fun. Like, and then sometimes it can be annoying. So I just hope it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? So I guess we'll see when we see, but like, I have, just in case you don't understand, there's a difference between getting behind a microphone and giving an opinion versus real life. I don't know this girl in real life. I feel like in real life, we would be the best of friends. Okay. She seemed cool as hell. She seemed cool as hell. But in terms of her on this show, Oh, she gonna get dragged like everybody else. Don't want to get dragged? Then <laughs> don't go filming shows out the country when you're supposed to be going to court. The fuck? Mm. Mm. We're listening again fully for real. Period. You tell him you got inches. Yeah, he gonna get on the phone talking about. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. I took one shower in jail, bro. I was not trying to keep watching that because I wasn't staying for long. I know that's right. <clears throat> they even tried to change my jumpsuits. I said, man, listen, I'm rocking the same jumpsuit I came upstairs with. Ain't no new jumpsuit. I know that's right. I am not washing my ass because I ain't even staying here that long. Why am I getting comfortable? We're listening again for real. Period. Hold on, let me pause this. Cause I see one one zero. And y'all know we don't do that. So let me go ahead and like this, even though I don't know what I'm liking. Come on, one, one, one. Everybody say, hey, spirit. Now say goodbye, spirit, because I don't agree with this goddamn comment. Her and Biggie got the same personality. Child, I should block you. Report. Report. Hmm. 
Hmm. False information. Right. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> Talk about some her and Biggie got the same personality. Bitch. Oh, not King Naquan. Nigga. He gonna get on the phone talking about me. I said, gunshot were in jail, bro. That's it. I'm going to do with a piece of a live. Child. We're going to check, yeah, check our page and see if the live's still up. But, like, what am I supposed to do with a piece of a live? I'm going to need Zeus Network T, especially um, Mr. My Ear, okay? Especially with all of these followers, okay? And the fact that I'm helping you build your page, okay, by extra promoting you on mine, I'm going to need him to go and get the full live stream, girl. We we need to work together. Oh, we're going to say this for a different video. You want to talk about you and just say Yeah, we're going to say that for a different video, child. We're going to do the meatball and Tinka um, friendship after this. But, um, I mean, I guess that's it. Let me see if I can look up her, her page. How you spell her name? Child, every time I type in Deja, Deja Harris comes up. Child, we're not trying to check for Hyman's girl. We're trying to check for Instagram Live. Let me see. Meatball Deja Instagram. Come on. Is the live still up? <laughs> y'all who she look like <laughs> tell, look at her and tell me who she look like please look at her and tell me who she look like do y'all see it do y'all see it do y'all need some help girl <laughs> Stop. Let, mm, stop. Because y'all already think I hate black women. Now y'all going to say I'm anti-black. Stop. Listen. It's just jokes. Some of y'all be too sensitive. Damn. If you're sensitive, get the fuck off my page. Please. Please. Oh, was she in New, New York right here? That look very New York. <clears throat> but they should be doing it to herself. Me probably doing it to herself. She should be real regular. I told y'all she's pretty. She's pretty as hell to me. She is so pretty to me. But um, she be doing it to herself. <laughs> but it's definitely giving. It's definitely giving Harriet Tub. Um. Okay, so she said I'm free now at three thirty. She need commissary. She needs to eat. She need all that. All that. Uh, exactly. Noodles. She know how to make that hook up. It hit different. You feel me? So yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. Shut that shit up. Wait, I want to see the outfit. <clears throat> That's cute. That look like something live would wear, except in all black. Because I told you I'm not a stepper. I am not a stepper. What? I do my big one with my face. Okay. Matter of fact, I ain't even got to do my big one. God already did. What happened? Clock it. Okay, clock it because the face can't be. Okay? I don't step out with an outfit, baby. My, my face is the outfit. Okay, my face is the head to toe. This hair is the head to toe. What are you talking about? She ain't had no choice but to back my Philly. Oh, wait, no. Stop talking, girl. Okay, so now she's starting to talk about other stuff that we'll talk about in a different video. Oh, right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, let me see. Do Baddies Caribbean had a blog? Had a live? Wait, what Olivia talking about? I am nosy. Oh, come on, Barbie. She is so pretty. What video was I doing with? I was, oh, I was, I, 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 I did the Azalea Banks and Dochi video. Okay. For those of y'all that watched that video, this is Olivia Dope. I told y'all how she looked like Dochi. Like how she reminded me of her. 
or whatever. And, you know, I also spoke about, um, you know, because there's a lot of people, I mean, since we talking about all of these tropes and social justice campaigns and whatnot, whatever, you know, because I always bring them up in my videos. During the Azalea Banks and um, Dolce video, I was talking about how, like, there are people who, I feel like despite the successes, there are people who just cling to the negative parts of stories and just situations. And it's one thing if you're doing it for, like if you're doing it to spread awareness, but I don't think that's what it is. A lot of people just cling to it because they like dealing in toxicity and negativity. And I totally understand that 20 years ago, Things were a lot different for dark-skinned people and dark-skinned women. Hell, 20 years ago, things was different for gay people and trans people. Like, come on now. Come on now. And do we have a lot more further to go? Hell yes. But this narrative that we are still where we were 20 years ago, I just don't like when people cling to that and ignore all the successes. And I say all of that to say, because I had brought up this girl, Olivia Dope, as a point of reference, like, you know, dealing with Isaiah Banks and Dochi to, you know, dark skinned women who are winning. And, um, you know, here's another example. You know what I mean? She's getting checks from Ball Main. Okay. And she's a DJ. Like, I think that is amazing. You know what I mean? And obviously, I'm going to see a lot more of that. Okay. And if you didn't really watch that video, then you're probably really not going to understand why I just brought that up or what I'm talking about. But let's see if we can find um, Deja's live. Um, is that Bambi? I know that is not Bambi. Oh, that's Big Gretch. Why she look like Selena? Bambi from YouTube. Girl. <clears throat> hey, Mitch. My baby, Mitch. Uh... I doubt it would be on TikTok. Let me see if it's on Twitter. Child, and this was the part that people was getting mad at. Girl, I don't fuck. Go somewhere else with that bullshit. Go, go to one of them other pages. Child, that be stealing my quotes and shit. Um, there's plenty of other people that do these YouTube videos. I'm not doing no research and having shit, but no. No, I get paid for this shit. And if I can stretch the video out, I'm going to stretch it out. We're going to watch together. Y'all ain't knowing shit but watching me. Okay? So we're going to look for it together. This is a, what you call it? A community experience. Okay? Meatball Live. What's her name? Meatball. No, Meatball Jail. Okay, so we don't have any updates. Maybe... Because what I'm hoping is that, like, maybe, like, another T page posted, you know, like, a live. <laughs> Not that I got this post to her. I'm back. Oh, I didn't even think to check her page. Yeah, I didn't even think to check her page. Okay. Let me see. We're going to check one more. Zeus Network T. Wait. Hold on. Because did Zeus Network even post about her being in jail? Wait, 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 wait. Like, did, did LaMelle even care? Because that's the gag. If Zeus didn't even post about her being in jail, then I know something. <clears throat> to anybody that's new, when you hear me coughing, unless I'm sick, I'm vaping. I'm smoking in the background. That's why. Because I know I'm not on camera. Um, Yo, that's crazy. Zeus didn't even post about the fact that she was in jail. I could see if they didn't want to bring like any negativity towards it, but I mean, the whole network is negative, so they just don't give a fuck. Why wouldn't they post about her going to jail? Why would they not even at, at the least like post like free her or thank God she's free? Like, that's crazy. Did Lamel leave him post? Nope. 
Nope. Nope. He's still he's still talking about his goddamn birthday. Nigga, your birthday was last week. It was eight days ago. Let it go. Chat, and then he gonna post Janisha. Did Janisha post about me, boy? Nope. Chow. Didn't any leaks post about me, boy? Where is the meatball post? I know Natalie had to say something. She was just calling her little sis. Like three days ago when she gave her a chain. I know Natalie had to post about her. Oh, that's my channel. <laughs> oh, and I had to go private it. Because just because I was showing y'all y'all my page, that didn't mean for y'all to go add it. I don't know y'all bitches. I mean, I love y'all, but my private page is for people I know in real life. <laughs> I like y'all though. Um, where the hell is Natalie? Wow, they they is really fake. See, if I was Meeple, if I was her, I wouldn't even want to none of them. Because the only person that posted about me Bob being in jail that I saw was Tasiki, Tasikiana, and um Tinkabella. I know that it's not Biggie. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Tell me that didn't look like, like, if you squint, take out one of your contacts and spin around, tell me that don't look like Natalie and Biggie. Tell me that don't look like Natalie and Biggie. I thought that was Natalie and Biggie, and it's not Natalie and Biggie. Oh, it's Natalie and Minnie. Aw. Okay, but where is the meatball post? And who big Jayla? Oh, she getting so big. Oh, so you can. Daddy, Wait, I don't know none of them bitches. Daddy, 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 Daddy. Who the hell are they? Wow. Wow. Wait, not Elizabeth, New Jersey. Hold up. Mastic, New York. What the fuck is Mastic? Hold on, let me Google that. Why is Natalie going to these sundown towns in New York? Mastic. Oh, Mastic is on Long Island? Girl, why is she going to these sundown towns in New York? And then the one place that she is going that I could get to is Elizabeth, New Jersey. But girl, that's the hood. <sighs> I guess I ain't seen her till I host a reunion, child. Anyways, where is the meatball post? And who bit Jayla? Wait, is she going to say it here? Is she going to say free meatball here? The pineapple sweet. No, no, wrong food. Meatball, meatball, wrong food. Not pineapple. Meatball. Stay with me, Natalie. Meatball free. Meatball free. The pineapple sweet. No, bitch. No, the pineapple sweet. Scream at happy birthday to up. Oh, so she got time for a happy birthday post, but she ain't got time for a free meatball post. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. But most importantly, does meatball see how it is? Because if she come back and she all oh, up under these bitches, then I'm gonna know something. Then I'm gonna know something. Cause I see how it is, but does Daisha, does meatball? Because if she come back and she all kick, 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 giggling and kitty clacking with these bitches, and not near one of these hoes except Tasiki and Tinka said, free meat? Meat is free? I know something. It really is just a show to these hoes. Looking for the best makeup artist and hairstylist in Richmond, Virginia. Hey, no, girl. You we should be looking for one of your baddies. Put out an SOS. One of your baddies. They're not on the streets. They're not available. Oh my God, where are they? Oops, behind bars. That's what you need to be looking for. You need to be looking for a lawyer. You need to be looking for a bail sponsor. 
you need to be looking for assistance to get Meatball out of jail. Even though she's out of jail now, you didn't know that five hours ago because you didn't give a damn. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. There's some days that I'm really super excited about. Uh, Richmond, Virginia, Buffalo, motherfucking can't wait to get back to Long Island. And another one that's on um, my tour date, Toronto, Canada, Ontario, Canada. I can't wait to get out there to Canada. Um, you know, Miami, of course. Indiana is going to be lit. I'm excited. York, like, we the fuck outside tour she's just not is say New York. up. And you never know who I'm going to bring with me. That's the thing. You never know. Daddy's <laughs> coming. We know it ain't going to be Biggie. We know it ain't going to be Roly. Okay, we know. Damn sure it ain't going to be E.T. <laughs> Shout out to that live that uh, Natalie and Jayla had did where E.T. was mad because she ain't get to go to the Super Bowl with them or get to be outside at the clubs. Hmm. And what we doing, who I'm going to be outside with. Um, Houston, Texas is on there. Super excited about Kentucky. What? Derp. Chad, she's saying everything other than what I want to hear. Okay, talking about something you never know who I'm going to show up with. Girl, I know who you're not showing up with. Meatball, because her ass is behind bars. Free meat. <laughs> not one post. From the boss, that's a shame. But two days ago, was just telling her, "Oh, I love you, little sister." As you gave her her chain, ten days late. See how they treat you. See how they treat you when you go on this goddamn show. This is why I say I don't be feeling bad for these girls. Get out my comments trying to make me feel bad for these girls because I don't feel bad for these girls. Look at the treatment. She got her. She finally got her chain after bitching and crying all season long. She had been doing that for weeks, talking about how she didn't get a chain, and then she finally got one three days ago. And you see Natalie right there. Oh, I love you, little sister. Good job. I'm proud of you. Keep growing. Remember, growth you live and learn. And then as soon as her ass got off the goddamn plane, she went to jail. And there wasn't one word from her big sister. Did Scotty say something? Let's see. Because Scotty talking about some I love you. How deep is your love, bitch? Mm. 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 Where's the love? Where's the love? Put something on my commissary front. That's what I want to know. See, at this point, I'm ready to interview Miss Deja. I'm I'm ready to interview Miss Meatball because that's what I want to know. Did any of these hoes at least put something on your commissary? Like, I know you was really only in there for like two hours at this point, but like, did they at least say, okay, here's a pack of ramen noodles. Here's, you know, a couple of quarters so you could call your mama. Okay, check on the OnlyFans, make sure the money coming in. Like, did they do something? Because they damn sure didn't do it online. They damn sure didn't do it publicly. So I just want to know if they did it privately. But I'm going to get up off it. Can y'all get up on me? Let me know what y'all thought about all of this doubt in the comment box below. Child, mm. baddie, baddie, fake a clock. Baddie, baddie, wouldn't be me. Baddie, baddie, wouldn't want to get shot for being fake on the clock. Because that's what it's given. Baddie, baddie, shot a clock? No. Baddie, baddie, fake on the clock. Because that's what it's given. That's what it's given. That's what it's given. These hoes ain't really friends, and we know that. We know that. But do y'all know that? Because y'all be in my comments. Some of y'all be in my comments like, oh, da, 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 da. and how you can't see that Natalie is the problem. And Sky, I love you, but Natalie really is the problem. And yeah, girl, I'm not surprised that Natalie ain't post nothing. I'm not surprised that ain't none of these girls ain't post nothing because that's just what they give. But these girls be, they get up, they get so caught up in the TV fantasy of it all, thinking they're closer and thinking that they're going to have an experience when it's already been shown. And they don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about you. So when things happen, like what's going on with smile, I don't care. I don't care. But let me know what y'all thought down in the comments below is if I give fuck, okay? And definitely make sure that you uh, stream my music as if you give fuck, okay? Hold up. Wait, one more thing before I let y'all go. The universe is being double T to the Y And it won't stop till I wake up and realize that I am the one, two, three I am the bitch that these other niggas ain't How you gonna escape when I am the key That's why everywhere I go, they say following me like damn Get back on track, look at who I am Every day is number, then it's like sand Look in the mirror, tell myself, fuck it.
again. So love and happiness is all about a glass of wine. Okay, so we're not going, well, I'm going to more than likely go live. I'm, I am. Um, I'm going to be going live tonight. Probably not going to be on camera because I don't feel like it. Okay, but I'm going to be going live tonight. Okay, for those of y'all that want to do like a quick little Q&A, okay, um, I'm going to be going live, doing tire readings and all of that. Probably around like nine o'clock. Yeah, you know, sometime after nine, I'll be going live. So if you want to get, you know, a quick little you know, and it's a it's a good, you know, little introduction, you know, get a little quick QA um going. Because uh yeah, everybody don't always have the money for a full reading or you may not be ready for like a full 30 minute read. And so, you know, we do like the little quick five minute, whatever, you know, QA is on live. And um, yeah, it's for fifty dollars. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna be on live a little bit later. So yeah, look out for that a little bit later tonight. 9 p.m. around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So like two, three hours. Okay. Uh other than that, like I said, stream the music, swing my way, party, happy. Um, I am dropping a new song sometime next week. It's being recorded now. It's gonna get mixed. And it's a bop. I stopped working on a 90s bops project because I just realized, you know, until I'm able to drop like full-length albums all at once instead of just like one song, I don't want to dedicate my life to like an album. Once we get the money right now, oh, y'all going to get a new album every week, okay? But for right now, y'all going to get a couple of songs, you know, every month or so. And, um, yeah, the new song is a bop. It's a, it's a song that I took from the 90s Bops Project. So, you know, it's obviously like a 90s sample, and uh, it's a bop. It, it's really a bop. Like, it's, it's a bop. It's a cute summer song. It's a bop. <laughs> and I can't wait for y'all to hear it because it's it's – one of my songs is one of my favorite songs. Um, so yeah, I love each and every one of y'all allegedly in HD audio. And um, if you still want to book a full read and you can, that is 50% off. Just slide in my DMs and I'll see y'all in the next one. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Fuck it up, love it how they cutting up. Now these niggas showing up, but wasn't when I'm coming up. Fuck it up, love it how they cutting up. Now these niggas.